Can you define your styling philosophy? Uh, for me, it's simple. Um, probably 80% classic, 20% trend. Um, and I feel like the most stylish people around the globe uh, understand that ratio in their closet where they're not chasing uh, trendy silhouettes and styles and fabrics. They're also not chasing status names necessarily, maybe from a quality standpoint, but I think the most stylish people usually don't want you to know who they're wearing uh, because it's about fit and tailoring and construction and fabric, how it feels on them, who they want to be that day. Uh, and so much of that comes in a classic wheelhouse for me. Um, I can't oftentimes get people to do that because trends are the, fl the flashy, the shiny object that people chase. Mm -hmm. uh, but I have always found that the most stylish men and women understand that if I buy this amazing cashmere sweater, it's going to last me for decades because I can wear it now or 20 years from now because it's a classic shape without a lot of bells and whistles. So that's always been my philosophy, the 80-20 rule. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, just to add to that, I remember just after graduating uh, high school, reading in Cosmopolitan, that uh, the goal is to be the fabulous person. It was, you know, Cosmopolitan, so they said women, to be the fabulous person in the clothing rather than the person in the fabulous clothing. And that I share with as many people as I can, because that is the true definition of a stylish person versus a fashionable person. You're spot on. You're spot on. It still holds true, you know? And it, the same thing works with other genres. You know, when you think about makeup, you know, you want to see a beautiful woman. You don't want to see beautiful makeup. Yeah. You know? ooh, ooh, ooh. When you go to a restaurant, you want to taste delicious food, you know, versus a bunch of gimmicks. Yeah. Um, sometimes just a simple, you know, simply grilled fish with salt, pepper, and lemon is so much better than you know, 8 million things thrown on top of it, capers and onions and carrots and blah, blah, blah. It's like you get to really appreciate the essence of what you're witnessing or seeing or tasting. Simple is the hardest thing to do. It's right. easy to jump things up. I tell women all the time when I'm dressing them, like, don't be afraid of the negative space. You know, they get excited for these big events and all of a sudden it's more rings and more bracelets and more earrings and bigger hair and bigger clothes. And it's like, you just look like, what's her name from The Wiz? Miss Juan. You know, you're oh, oh. <laughs> you know, because I think a lot of it, women just get nervous. They start putting on little emotional touches and then it's just too much. Yeah. And that one woman walks in with a, just a simple red lip, a crisp white shirt, a black cigarette pant, and she looks better than everybody in the room. Yeah. because her skin shows, you know, she just got a great kind of a, a global uh, minimalist take on style. And she just gets all the attention versus the woman who's wearing the kitchen sink. 